Hey guys, in this project we're going to be building a simple website for a fictional applic mobile application called Gamma, which is a photo sharing app. Now this is suitable for our first project because it's really simple. Basically we have a landing page here, um, a bootstrap formatted page, we have the nav bar, we have this main showcase area or jumbotron as it's called in bootstrap. Um, and then if we scroll down, we have these three uh, columns here with images, text, and uh, buttons. And then we have kind of a features section, it has a background color, we have an image, we have some uh, bullet points that are using the icons that Bootstrap offers. It's responsible, you can see that it changes, okay. Um, it changes to fit the screen and you'll notice if we go past a certain point the the large iPhone image disappears just because it's much too big and cluttered on a smaller screen you can see as we go down to the mobile size it looks really good alright so everything fits nicely so uh, and then we just have a basic footer at the bottom okay so that's the home page we also have a couple other pages the about page we have this title heading area. Uh, we have some text. We're using the accordion module that Bootstrap offers. And then we just have a simple sidebar with um, an image and some text. And then the contact page, we just have a Bootstrap formatted form and the sidebar. All right, so very minimal, uh, simple, but clean looking. As far as the design, um, I'm including the PSD files, which are basically Photoshop files um, of this big showcase area and also of this iPhone with the content, with the icon, logo, things like that. Okay, basically I, I found this image uh, of the hand in the iPhone on a, on a stock photography site. Um, so it, it's all free to use. And then we just have the icons here for the app stores. All right, um, so what we want to do is you can see I have a folder called app sales page and that's the folder we're going to build in. Um, right now you just have the design folder which has those two PSDs. All right, so what we need to do is I also have our bootstrap starter folder um, or template that we created in the first chapter. So we're going to open that and just bring everything over. Okay, so we'll just copy that, paste that into this folder. All right, now I'm going to open up index.html. You can see this is our starter template. We just have a, a, a black nav bar. All right, so let's open up that file with the text editor. Okay, so this is this is all the starter template that we created. Um, basically we have our doc type and our head area then our bodies down here we have the nav bar and then an empty section and then we have our JavaScript references okay so first thing we want to do is I'm going to change this title here we'll change it to gamma photo sharing app and then down here for the project name going to change that to gamma all right now for the nav bar you can see that the final uh, project it's pretty much the same thing it's just white okay so by default the nav bar in this template in the in the sample template that we got it's it's black so we can change that just by removing one class okay you'll see this nav tag has a class of nav bar inverse you want to change this to navbar default. Save that and then we reload and now it's white. All right, now the only other thing we need to do with this navbar is I want to change the color. You can see that we have this, this green color here. All right, so what we need to do is, is have a, a class for our text to, to, be, to be green like that. All right, now you could do something like uh, green text uh, but that's not that's not good semantics because you may one day want to change this to red change the 
the overall scheme uh, of the template red and this isn't going to make sense anymore so I'm going to use the class um, M text for emphasis okay so what we'll do is open up the style style CSS which should only have this in, in it which is the padding top for the uh, to take up the space for the nav bar all right so let's add a class here called M text and then the color let's see it's um what is it it's one uh, one C A A nine eight okay so now if we reload I don't actually I don't think we saved the index file did we okay it's still not a class Nav bar brand M text M text. Hmm. It's weird. Just check it out with Chrome tools. M text. Is this even okay? Style.css. That's really weird. Bar brand M text. You know what? Let's um, add an important flag on it. Okay, so we just want to say important. All right, so that works. Sometimes you need to override things with Bootstrap because it's taken it's taking the style from the core Bootstrap CSS. All right, so now that that's green, that's good. You can see it looks exactly like the final project. All right, so that's really easy, um, especially where we're actually using a, an about and contact page. Okay, so the next thing is going to be the jumbotron, which is the big showcase area. All right, and if we go to the boot, uh, getbootstrap.com/components, you can see down here we have a link for the jumbotron. And this is what it looks like by default. It's just a big area with a background, um, has a big heading, has some paragraph text, and a button. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to actually copy that, copy this little snippet right here. And I'm going to put it right above the section tag and right below the nav tags. And we just want to spread this, space this out. All right, so I'll save that, and we can just see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like by default. Now, you'll notice that this the content is flushed up against the side, and that looks really ugly. And the reason for that is that we didn't include the container class. The container class basically brings everything into the middle and um, gives it margin. It... it uh, just pushes everything to the middle really so what we need to do is inside of the jumbotron class we're going to say div class equals container and we want to end that right here okay and now if I save that and reload you can see that it gets pushed into the middle and it stays in the middle no matter what even if we go down to the mobile view alright so you always want to have a container now the reason that I put it inside of the jumbotron div and not outside is because if I put it on the outside actually I'll just show you real quick if we do that and reload you can see now the the background ends at the container as well instead of covering through the whole page and you may want that so this is fine if this is how you want it um, but I, I would prefer to have the background stretch beyond the container so I put it inside all right now we need to obviously change a few things here we're going to be using the grid the bootstrap grid um, in the jumbotron and we're going to be using it a lot through this series and let me just see if I can bring that up. 